Yo, what is good, people? It is your boy, Bash, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the live commentaries I've posted so far. If you haven't had the chance to see one, you can click on the annotation on the screen right now. It'll take you to the live commentary I posted this morning. I'd like to apologize if I don't sound very enthusiastic in that video or the one that I posted yesterday, but I was a bit under the weather. I was feeling kind of sick, but I promised you guys that I was going to start posting live comms on Monday, and I wanted to be a man of my word, so I went ahead and I did that. But moving forward, I promise I will be a lot more animated, having a lot more fun, talking a lot more smack, and you might hear me rage here or there. <laughs> so it will be a lot more fun, so you can look forward to those. I will be posting one live commentary every single morning, every day, so you guys can definitely look forward to that. But anyways, moving forward, Infinity Ward. Now, I've told you guys how impressed I've been with Infinity Ward, the support that they've been showing this game, how much they've been listening to our feedback, all that good stuff. Well, they've taken another step in the right direction. So if you guys have been, you know, following, keeping track of the Modern Warfare 3 community, then you've probably already seen this or heard about it. But yesterday, Mr. 402, Mr. Robert Bowling, he posted a thread on the Modern Warfare 3 forums. And if you haven't had the chance to see it yet, I will put the link in the description so you can go check that out. But what it really is is kind of a consolidated list of all the things that they fixed, all the issues that they've looked at and addressed, as well as issues that they're, they're planning on addressing and, and things that they're just discussing. So things that they haven't necessarily decided to make any moves on, issues that they haven't necessarily, you know, issues that they haven't identified as issues yet, but things that they've heard from the community and things that they are listening to just to kind of show us that they are paying attention to the things that we're saying and the, the feedback that we're giving them, which is a good, good thing. And I, I've really been looking for a consolidated list, kind of like a set of patch notes, things that have been fixed. Because there are some things such as a uh, lag compensation, for instance, that I wasn't sure if it had been addressed, if they looked at it at all or any of those types of issues. But, but now that they've kind of put this list out, it lets you know everything that they fixed as well as all things that they want to fix. So if you haven't checked it out, click on the link in the description and go check it out it's pretty informative it's pretty cool but i kind of want to talk about some of the things that they're looking to change in the future so apparently in the next update kind of things that are in development right now and one of the most important things that i think needs to be fixed is host migration so i can't tell you guys how many times i've joined a match or joined a lobby and every single person in the lobby is on a two bar you can't even identify a host because there's nobody in the game with a four bar connection. Everyone's on a two bar. The game's super laggy. It's super slow and it just sucks. And that's been my biggest kind of problem with this game is that there's times where you cannot play the game at all. And when I say unplayable, I don't mean like, you know, oh, the dual FMG 9s are so overpowered, they make the game unplayable. Or the Type 95 is so empowered, the game's you know, so overpowered, the game's unplayable. No, 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 I mean issues where you can't even play, where it's so laggy that you can't even walk around, where you aim at someone, you try to shoot them, and you do not shoot anything. Or, you know, you're running back and forth between the same spot for 10 seconds. Those are the biggest issues that I have with this game, and I think those are really fundamental problems that gotta get fixed immediately. So I'm really happy that they're looking at that. They're gonna improve the host migration logic. Hopefully that means bad connections will be identified quickly and hosts will be migrated quickly because that has been the biggest issue, in my opinion, holding this game back. Other problems that they're gonna be looking at, weapon balancing. So you, you heard me mention two weapons right there, the dual FMG9s and the Type 95. They're going to be rebalancing those guns. So a lot of people have been complaining about the Type 95s. I knew about the dual FMG9s. I did not know that they were looking at changing the Type 95. And it looks like they've already confirmed that there will be a hotfix updating the Type 95. So everyone who's been complaining about it, rest assured it will be fixed. Um, but things that they're looking at, things that they're discussing, so issues that they haven't necessarily you know, deemed a problem, but things that they're looking at right now, uh, lag compensation, further lag compensation updates, because they did do a couple, um, you know, address some lag issues. I don't know if that necessarily means lag compensation, but they are looking at specifically what else they can do to update the lag compensation problems, host advantages or disadvantages. Um, also, what they're looking at doing is updating the spawn system, and I think this is a must. Because when you spawn and you die, that is not a good look. You should not spawn and not even have the chance to, you know what I'm saying, make 
take three steps before dying. Um, that, I think, is a huge discouragement, especially for players who are who are still learning the game, players who are still trying to get better. If you can't understand why you're dying and you're dying, that's a problem. If, if you've done nothing wrong and you're dying, that's a problem, especially if it's consistent. So I think the spawn system does need to get fixed. But there's a ton of things that they're going to be fixing. Check out the link in the description. You should definitely read this thread. It's really important. I think you guys should definitely understand the changes that are being made. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy that Infinity Ward's doing this, and I hope that they continue to update this specific thread every time there's some changes or some issues coming up so we can always stay updated and you know i'll update you guys because i always want to keep you guys in the loop um as always if you like this video please give it a thumbs up because that helps me out and if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button like i said you can click on the annotation on the screen head over to the live com i posted this morning and i'll be posting one every day so look forward to that for now i'm gonna get out of here see you guys later peace out